turned up food more bass than Boots and Collins. You versus me, that's like Ali versus Foreman. God act. Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is Tyler and in today's video I have a brand new life story for you all. And in the background you're watching a Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay so hopefully you guys do enjoy that. But in today's video I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into the life story that I have for you today. And for those of you who haven't read the title, this story is going to be about the time that my house got robbed. This took place years and years ago, way back at the beginning of my 5th grade year. But it's a really really crazy story, I ended up walking in directly on the people like robbing my house and it was just a really crazy experience and I figured you guys would really enjoy it, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell that story today. So this story takes place like the first week of my fifth grade year, and my family had actually just ended up moving into a new house, and the house that we had moved into was like a row of townhouses, they had just finished building them, I think there was like seven or eight houses that were completed, and we were the first family, the first people to be moving in there, and the first people living there. So at the time we had no neighbors or anybody else living in this townhouse complex, it was just our house and it was on like a main road. So it was like the middle of the week on the first week of school that I had and I end up going to school like an average morning and my mom and stepdad they go to work so the house is home alone nobody's at the house all day so I end up getting home from school around 2 30 2 45 ish and at this time we didn't have like an automatic garage door opener or like an electric garage code on the outside of our garage so I had to go around to the front of the townhouse and open the door and go in through the front door so I ended up going around to the front of the house grabbing my key unlocking the door basically just going inside and going about my day as usual and the house that we lived in at the time had three stories since it was a townhouse. The first floor had like our garage and then a downstairs little office room. Then it had stairs up into the second floor. The second floor was the kitchen, the dining room, another like kind of little dining room area, and then our living room. And then the third floor had the master bedroom, my bedroom, and then our spare guest bedroom. So I end up coming in the front door, going straight up past the living room, all the way upstairs into my room. And at the time I had just this like shitty old Dell laptop, and I remember I had it set up under my bunk bed and my first thing I wanted to do when I get home was come up and actually go and sit down in my room and just play sims. So I get up into my room, set my backpack down and immediately I go to sit down at my desk and I notice that my laptop isn't there. So at first I'm like alright whatever you know if my mom probably just took it so that I should do my homework before I get on the computer. In this particular day I didn't really have any homework you know it was the first week it was only fifth grade so like we didn't really have anything to do and so when I realized my laptop's not in my room I just go ahead and call my mom and I say hey mom you know like I I don't have any homework can I have my laptop where did you put it and she just replies and goes what are you talking about I didn't take your laptop your laptop should be right in your room so at this point I was like wait what the fuck and so I'm just walking around a little bit on the third floor talking to my mom on the phone and I end up kind of just pacing back and forth and start heading downstairs back onto the second floor where the kitchen and the living room is and as I'm about halfway down the stairs I hear our garage door opening from down below because we have like an electronic automatic garage door opener and it was one that could only be opened from the inside and so so since we were in a townhouse, when you would hear the garage door open, it would make the whole house have like a deep low rumbling noise. I'm sure some of you who live in townhouses know this, but I heard the garage door, so I kind of got a little bit spooked. And so I immediately hang up the phone with my mom and run into the kitchen, grab this big ass knife, and I go to start heading downstairs. And to get downstairs, we have to pass the living room through the kitchen. And I noticed that when I passed the living room, our TV that we had mounted up on the wall was actually taken off the wall, set down on the ground. So I'm like, oh shit, something is up. So I was just super super spooked you know so I run downstairs with this like big ass kitchen knife and at this point I'm still hearing like the garage door making sound you know I could hear it still rumbling so I'm like oh shit who the fuck is gonna be on the outside of this garage you know so I end up opening the door from inside our house into the garage and when I open up the door into the garage I just see another smaller TV from my parents room piled up in the garage like a bunch of our DVD players a bunch of electronics and shit we had just piled up in the garage and I just see the end of the garage door start closing you know it was like right at the end of its closing cycle and I just see feet on the outside of the garage door just taking off and you know I only saw the feet maybe from like a little bit higher than the ankles like halfway down the shin so I couldn't even tell what the guy looked like and I was just freaking the fuck out because I was only in fifth grade at the time like I was maybe 11 or 12 years old so I had no idea really what was going on I knew both of my parents weren't home I was the only person home alone and so I got super super scared and immediately you know obviously I called the police and I'm sitting there on the phone with the police and I would tell them like yeah somebody literally just broke into my house I just walked in on them they were like in the house while I had walked in there 
and they were asking me all these questions if the person was still in the house, if I was in the house, if I was stuck in the house, and so I was just answering all these questions, trying to get a police officer over to my house as fast as possible, because I was just fucking spooked. And so after I get off the phone with the police, I end up calling my mom again and start making rounds through the house, making sure, like, seeing what they didn't take, seeing what they did take, trying to figure out everything that ended up going down. And I was, like, looking around, checking on my dog, my mom's dog, because, like, I've heard many stories of people breaking into houses, beating the shit out of people's dogs, and I was, like, so spooked that was gonna happen to my dog. And the thing is, is, like, my dog I know wouldn't do anything to anybody. She's a super, super laid back, like, really chill dog. She doesn't even really bark at people or anything. But I was really happy when I found out nothing happened to any of the dogs or anything like that. After I called my mom, you know, my mom took off work, immediately ended up coming home. My stepdad came home, and then the craziest thing was that both of my parents actually ended up making it back to the house before any of the police officers ended up showing up. So my mom and everybody comes home, and then about an hour after my mom comes, the police finally show up. Basically, we just had to explain everything that got taken from us to the police. It was just a huge mess, but in the end, thankfully, nobody got hurt. Nothing really ended up happening. I'm not even sure if the police ended up catching the guy who broke into our house, but apparently he was involved in, like, a whole string of house robberies, and our house wasn't, like, the only target that he had done. He had stolen from a bunch of other people's houses, apparently. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's story. If you guys did at any point, be sure to leave a like down below on this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I post stories like this all the time and a few other kinds of vlogs and other stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to subscribe down below. But you guys know I love you all. Thanks again so much for watching today's video. I'm out. Peace.